Hello everyone, welcome to Software Testing Mentor and RCV Academy. This is Manish Verma and today I'm here to announce another very important tutorial series which is Selenium with Python tutorial series. This tutorial series I have designed for very beginners and uh, till advanced. So basically if you are a complete beginner, don't know anything about Selenium, don't know anything about Python, you will be good to go ahead and start with this particular tutorial series. If you are familiar with Selenium Python, then you can skip the initial bit of content and move to the advanced concepts of the frameworks which I'll be covering in this particular tutorial series as well. Now let's go ahead and understand and see what all course contents I'm going to cover as part of this tutorial series. Before I go to the course contents, I would like to mention that this will be very comprehensive tutorial series and this will cover most of the aspect that are required for you to become an automation tester from the manual tester. So if you are trying to transition from manual testing to automation testing, I'll make sure that I cover each and every aspect in this particular course that will enable you to become an automation tester using Selenium with Python. So why Selenium with Python is another question. So Python is a very popular programming language nowadays. It has picked up very widely. It's used a lot and it's very easy to learn. Selenium with Python will be very easy to learn and go ahead with, you know, step by step tutorial. So I'll cover it from very beginning. Uh, in step-by-step -step fashion so that it becomes really easy for you guys to go ahead and start learning Selenium with Python. I'll cover very basic concepts of Selenium, that may intermediate concept and then the advanced concept of the frameworks as well as uh, continuous integration, version control, etc. So all the things that you can think of to become an automation tester and start working in any project will be covered as part of this course. Now let's go ahead and see the course contents. So basically, if we go ahead with the course content, these are the key sections of the course that I'll be covering. Now, within these contents or within these sections, there'll be lots and lots of tutorials. So almost I am expecting around 150 to 200 tutorials or videos will be produced as part of this tutorial series. So this won't be uh, something which is just four or five or ten tutorials and will be done. So this will be covering each and every aspect of the automation, how you can build your skill from the very beginning and then intermediate and then basically advance through the uh, framework sections of the Selenium Python automation. So if we go through the uh, the course contents, if you, you can see that I'll be introducing a bit about the Selenium uh, Python and why we need to use Selenium with Python, what are the advantages, etc. Then the second key section will have all the tutorials or the videos about the environment setup and configuration. So we'll be setting up our machine for uh, the Python. So we'll installing the Python, then we'll be installing the ID, then setting up the Selenium environment, then writing a very brief script to execute one of the first test case in Selenium. Then the most important aspect of learning Selenium with Python is to know Python. So we'll be covering Python for testers. So whatever testers need to learn in terms of Python programming language, I'll be covering that as part of this series as well. So Python for testers will have all the tutorials that are required to learn Python. and whatever will be needed in the Selenium Python automation that will be covered as Python for testers tutorial. Then we'll move on to the identifying web elements with tools. So there'll be, there are a lot of tools available uh, over the internet. So you can install the plugins, add-ons in the browser, and we'll understand some of the very popular add-ons to identify the web elements on the web page. Now, why identifying the web element? Because web element identification is the key so that you can navigate through the browser so when you 
interact or when your script will interact with the browser it will basically uh, you have to identify which web element you are trying to click on or you know put the uh, text in so all those web element identification techniques using the tool will be covered the next part will be xpath and css advanced tutorials so those tutorials will give you a deeper understanding about the xpath and css selector strategies and how you can utilize those advanced selector strategies to find out complex and dynamic xpath and css selectors so that you do not get stuck with any of the web element identification problems the next step will be running on different browsers so automation is not just about running on a single browser we'll learn how you can run automation on multiple browsers so for example you want to run on your script on firefox on edge or internet explorer or you know um, on chrome so how you can configure the environment to run your script on different browsers then we'll understand about uh, the uh, working with web element so working with web web element is very very important so you will understand all the key methods that will help you to understand about the web element and how to interact with the web, web element then we'll understand about the important methods in the web driver selenium web driver then about the weights weights are very important to understand so we'll understand about different weights and how you can utilize weights in your script then we'll understand how to handle windows and iframes so etc all those details will be covered in the handling windows section we'll also cover the mouse operation so there's an actions class we'll understand how to uh, handle the mouse operations then we'll also implement the logging so logging will be important when you are working in the framework designing because you can't keep printing the the output on the console so usually when you develop a framework if there are any uh, errors or any information that you need to log in the log files then you you need to implement the logging into the framework so we'll also implement logging then we'll move on to the test frameworks which is very very important when we are learning the selenium python uh, automation so with python there are uh, frameworks like PyTest, PyUnit will cover those. Then we'll also cover the automation framework. So this is so from uh, the logging part or from you know uh, the the advanced concept starts basically from the handling windows and mouse operations. So basically, if you are already working with Selenium, you can skip up to this part. But if you are a complete beginner, I would highly recommend you start from the first tutorial and do not skip any tutorial so you, it will be logically structured series so you watch one by one and you will be able to master selenium python then if you are already aware of all the you know basic concept of selenium you can skip the initial bit of tutorials and you can move to the test frameworks directly if you're looking for advanced concepts of how to design test framework how to design automation framework in selenium python so we'll cover test frameworks we'll cover automation frameworks we'll cover data driven testing how you can do data driven testing in selenium python then we'll move to the version control which is basically how you can version control your um, scripts using git and github and then continuous integration using jenkins so these all uh, are the sections that I'll be covering as part of this tutorial series and I hope that this tutorial series will be really helpful for you as the previous tutorial series that I have posted uh, for Selenium with Java and robot framework so I hope that this will give you a good understanding and very deep understanding about selenium python and you will be able to transition yourself from a manual tester to the automation tester using selenium with python so that's all for the introduction part and the opening note about this particular training i'm very very excited to start the series and i'll see you in the next class thank you